Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking and I'm still here with Clint from Pesk Farms. I may have said that out of order. This will actually be the first video you guys see, but it's not the first we've shot, so never mind. <laughs> uh, they're in town for just today on some shooting here, uh, but uh, no reason in particular. It's not like you guys are giving away a Desert Tech HTI or anything like that. Yeah, it's not like we're doing like back-to-back -back 50 BMG giveaways right now as we speak or anything. In August yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah, no, no, no. no. So we're kind of shooting out of order. This is the last one we're shooting now, but it's the first one y'all will see. Anyway, Clint from Classic Farms is here. And we're brainstorming on videos to shoot, of course, HTI video. If that happens, that's great and everything. And you're saying, oh, just do like top five of your favorite guns or five plinkers, whatever. And I was brainstorming last minute. We're going to do my top five hand cannons. <laughs> what is a hand cannon? Well, that's up to you to decide. I think a hand cannon isn't so much on what it does to you, the shooter. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a, a brute to shoot, although they might be. Okay. Uh, I think it is about what it does to the target. Sure. We got watermelons, we got some steel. Oh, okay. It's gonna be fine on steel. The watermelons, we're gonna have a show. With that said, we're just gonna unveil the five right now. All right, first one. FK Bruno and 7.5 FK. Oh my goodness. Okay. Some have heard about it, some haven't. Yeah. It could be chambered in nine mil, 10 mil, or 7.5 FK, the proprietary round. And it feels like a nine mil. It sounds like a 44 Magnum and it blows up a watermelon like nothing else. So that should be a good time. Oh, we'll start yeah. there. We'll start there. All right. Here's the other one. We have got the good old classic Desert Eagle, but this one's an L5 and 357 Magnum. So it's actually very docile to shoot. Okay. I think you'll like that one too. Yes, I will. Cool. And there's one more in there, but we'll talk about that later. All right, the next one. From one Desert Eagle to the next. This one oh. is the gold one. 50 AE, we're not doing 44 today. We're going straight to 50 AE. Oh yeah. Good old COD 4 vibes. Yes. All right. Love that. The 460 Smith & Wesson Performance Center. This one's set up to do some distance. It is a revolver specific scope with the proper eye relief. Look at so if you that. want to hunt with a pistol, 14 inch barrel, 460. And then of course, we've got the stubby 500 Magnum. We're gonna go ahead and break some wrists. So we'll shoot some 350 grain stuff, all that fun stuff. But we'll also be shooting some 700 grain pills. No exception. That's a big, that's not a tube of lipstick. That is a 700 grain. And if you ever realize it is flush with that cylinder. So that is total novelty. I want to see what that does to watermelon too. So we're just gonna go ahead, a little bit of steel, a little bit of berms, just get a feel for it. We don't even have to hit nothing. Yeah, and then watermelon, just see what happens. All right, Clint's got the 7.5 FK, so a little bit of steel. Yeah, check out that round, Phil, focus. It's like an ashtray. Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, dude, I have, I've never seen it, so I'm excited to try this guy out for sure. Yep, yep. On every one of these guns, we're gonna have a watermelon as just a basic test subject to see how it acts, <laughs> but yeah, let's go, go yeah, for it, man. Yeah, let's go for a couple of steel shots here. Let's just get used to it and get a feel for it. <laughs> Oh, nice. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. All right, I'm having too much fun. I can't lose count. <laughs> this thing feels awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just see. Let's see what this does to the watermelon. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess Grazed. I'll right down well, here the you go. There. One more. Grazed it. But, you know, let's just go ahead and was not expecting that. no that little thing will do it <laughs> that is sweet and they only get bigger from here all right big bark out of the 357 magnum desert eagle but okay. docile kick actually all right let's give it a shot here let's see yeah <laughs> wow cool right no recoil oh yeah we need the watermelon oh we do need a watermelon <laughs> and a watermelon magically appears yeah there it is <laughs> dude that feels Great. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I keep getting excited and I'm <laughs> losing count over here. Let's see. Oh, just. There we go. All right. Watermelon. That wasn't that dramatic. Yeah. That's that a one... bad watermelon. From 357 to 50 AE and oh, a cool. Yeah. The gold adds power. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You got six in there. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That feels great. Oh, man. All right, let's go, watermelon. Low. Wow. All right, that's me dropping the mother. There it is. <laughs> it's flying everywhere. From just that angle, looks like it's a precision rifle. And it is a 14-inch barrel, 460 Magnum. Oh, so yeah. five shots in there. I say 
start off with the watermelon okay. and then the rest just put in the berm just to make sure we get the watermelon. <laughs> All right, let's try Only it five in there, but we'll just shoot the berm after that just to kind of show the lack of recoil. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and just for everybody at home too, you don't shoot it like this. No, <laughs> it is a eye relief for revolver. Oh yeah, long eye relief for sure. It does right. bark though. Let's see it here. Let's do this. All right, let's get it sided in right here. <laughs> now, what's cool though, I mean, yeah, it obliterated that watermelon. The recoil. No was, recoil. Yeah, due to that break up here. And the weight forward, oh, yeah. the bipod. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just go ahead and I guess yep. dump the rest into the yep, berm yep. over here. Let's see. All right. I really like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a party piece. Nice. Yep, that's a hit. Man, this sound bitch rocks. So we have got five 350 grainers in there on the 500 snub nose, and these will just go into the berm just to get a feel for it, and we'll step it up a little bit later. Yeah, let's go ahead and just, let's get a feel for it. Let's yeah. do it. Oh, okay. All Not right. too bad. Ooh, I like that. Get off my lawn. Yeah, right, straight up. That is, that's sweet. I like that. Now, you said we can step it up from here? Well, we can, slightly first. Let's go ahead and get a watermelon with a 350 grain XTP Hornady round. Get a little explosion going there. Yeah. All right, uh, he's got one in the wheel because we're con we're just very confident. So this is just a watermelon. Go for that middle one there and... All right, let's, let's give it a shot here. That's quite accurate. It's a good display on watermelon. All right. Ooh, Fireballs yeah. too. I saw that. And oh, you get a ring of fire that goes out like seven feet, typically oh, yeah. on slow motion, but. Yep, that, mm, I like that. But wait, there's more. Because now we're gonna do the red lipstick, the 700 grain, and this will just go, yeah, try the watermelon. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, let's. But mostly I'm interested to see, you yeah. know, what you think. That is heavy. Yep. That is heavy. <laughs> so when you think about the 50 BMG, yeah. 660 grain. We got more right here. Yeah. If you just need lead down range, you grab the five hundo. All right, let's just go for it. Let's <laughs> see if you could hit it. Yeah, right. Let's do it here. He did hit it. How yeah, about I, that? I, think I grazed it. <laughs> it was enough. It was enough. How's that recoil? That one you can tell is definitely a little bit more. Not too bad uh, though. But, but not bad. Not too bad. Well, that's as worse it gets. So yeah, I mean, I could, I could every day carry this. Absolutely. Hell yeah. All right, James on the gun with the three hundred grainers. Ooh, just low right. Where was that? That was right on it, it seemed like. Better wipe my hands. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. <laughs> All right, James has got the uh, one loaded in with the 700. Sucker's got a jump to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, well, there's the top five of something, and I figured hand cannons would be kind of fun. Uh, so, of course, there's other guys. I got like another 500, but I wanted diversity a little bit. And what do you think about the, the array here? Favorites? Uh, Surprises? Oh, okay, yeah. So, first off, the 357 Magnum, when you look at this guy, this was probably the easiest shooting one. This, yeah. thing, this thing was super sweet. That I love. The FK yeah. Bruneau? Yes. Very cool as well. Yeah. yeah. No, both of these are hand cannons in their own rights. Right. This one takes the form of Desert Eagle, but right. it surprised you on how easy it is to shoot, which is kind of cool. Yeah. This is like kind of a big CZ in yeah. a way, mm -hmm. but with potency. And yeah. then these are proper hand cannons. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So of course, you know, the, the 50 AE, the Desert Eagle, I mean, love, right? Uh, that is an absolute pleasure to shoot. Not right. enough people talk about this, I think. Yeah. The 14 inch barrel 460, because yeah. the 460 in itself is a really cool caliber in itself. I mean, let me get, what is this? Make sure I grab the right ones. I think we got 500, we got 460. Uh, you see the caliber difference, yeah, oh yeah. but also you see the height difference that 460 has over it. Right. So it's a whole different thing. They're going for velocity and all that stuff. It'll, it'll destroy a watermelon very, very nicely too with a little bit less recoil, <laughs> but then little, uh, then you get a 14-inch barrel, right. then a comp, and then yeah. it feels yeah. like all oh, the bang of a big old gun, but it's actually to the shooter, it's not that bad. Yeah, but I, um, I will tell you, though, running running the uh, little bit smaller guys uh, through this beast, that was fun. That was a lot of it fun. It becomes your friend, actually. Yeah. Like, people yeah. are afraid of this gun. You run some 300, 350 grain out of 500, yeah. the concussion is there. You just want to 
shoot the five and say yeah. get off my lawn yeah. something like that but but i mean if you want to feel like you know like you've done something shooting the uh, the lipstick as we're calling it here is fantastic it's i mean so time. i mean <laughs> As far as aer aerodynamics go, it's just a brick. <laughs> it's going to start tumbling after maybe 20. But hey, it actually yeah. put a good show on the watermelon. So, And that's that's what really matters. Yeah, absolutely. But, man, thanks for having us absolutely. out Absolutely. I'm yeah. glad you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, at last minute, it was like yesterday, I decided five, five, eh, hand cannon. So yep. nice little array, a little diversity. Uh, I love these this segment of guns quite a bit. Yeah. As, uh, yeah. How can you not? But anyway, that about does it for this video. Big thanks to Clint and all the guys from Classic Farm for joining, and uh, we had a pretty good time. But that does it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys next time. Take care.